Hello everyone, how are you all? So today I'm back with one more topic from the chapter percentage. Today I'll show you how to convert a decimal to percentage. Okay, so first we will take any decimal number. So let me take 0 0.8. This is the decimal number. Why it is called a decimal number? Because a point is there. It is represented with a point. So this number 0 0.8 is called a decimal number and we are going to convert it into percentage and as I told you, whenever you get any number in any decimal ratio or normal fraction and you have to convert into fraction percentage, then what do you have to do? You have to multiply with 100. And decimal multiplication, I have shown you in one of my video how to do the multiplication. You have to shift to the right side. So how many position you will shift? Two positions. So your point will, suppose you write down the answer, whatever is there, you just add this to zero. Your point was here. So it will shift one place, two place, it will come here. So what will be your final answer? Your answer will be 80. And don't forget to give the percentage sign. And this part, you do it in the rough, okay? Don't show it, do it as a rough. So you can do in your mind also that how your point is shifting. From here, your point is shifting to two decimals, two place to the right side, okay? Now I will show you one more example. Uh, for example, 0 0.36. Similarly, same way, multiply with 100 only you have to do because percentage means only 100. So, two step to the right side. So, point will shift after 3, then after 6. Okay. So, your answer, I am writing it directly. So, it will be 36 percentage. Clear? Then, one more example 0 0.04 into 100. So, what you will write down? Four percentage. I hope it is clear how I am doing. So this one, what I did, three six zero zero. You are multiplying. Your point was here, so it was just shifting it to the one side, two side. So two position to the right side. Decimal multiplication. You have to shift to the right side. Whenever there is decimal multiplication, you have to shift to the right, and for division, you have to shift to the left side. Okay. Now, so one more example, last example, I'll show you 0 0.008 into 100. So where it will shift? Point is here. So it will shift from 1020. So your answer will be 0, 0, 0.8. So you can write down 10. So you can final answer will be 0 0.8 percentage. You can write down this one. So that's all decimal to percentage. I hope it's clear. It's very easy. Decimal to percentage, you just have to multiply with 100. Okay. And now I will show you how to convert a percentage to a decimal. Okay. So percentage to decimal. Let me start. Percentage to a decimal number. So let me take one sum. For example, 36%. So what I told you, whenever there will be a percentage sign, that means you have to divide by 100. Now you just cancel. Okay. So you, we can cancel 2 into 18, 2 into 50. Again, you can cancel 2 into 9 to 25. Can you cancel any more? I don't think so. We can cancel any more. So you just write down. Decimal now, how to convert into decimal? See, one thing you can do no need of doing this one, you can cancel like this also. Like you're taking this one, give a point, put a zero. Okay, same thing, it will come 25 into 3 is 75. 5 will come 15. Okay, now take the zero will come 25 into 6. 6 into 5 is 30, carry 3, 18, 19, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's all. Your answer is 0 0.36. Now, can you see here? Can I write division like this? I told you decimal division, how to do? Two zero is there. So suppose you are here, your point is here. So it's shifting to the left side. So directly 36 divided by 100. Can I write down 0 0.36? Yes, of course I can write down. So no need of doing this part then. This one, I'm showing it how it has come, but directly you can perform this operation. Okay, now let me show you one more example. 
let me take 5.4 percentage decimal 5.4 percentage so what will be your answer 5.4 divide by 100 okay just you shift the point just to shift the point and write the answer so 20 is here so can i write down in this way just add here 0054 your point is here so it will shift to the left side one two position to the left so your point will come here so what will be your final answer 0 0.054 so that will be your answer directly you do it no need of converting this point into a normal number no need of changing this all okay just you have to remember the decimal division which i have shown you in one of my video okay how to do decimal division whenever there is 100 10 or 1000 just see the number of zero and the point will shift that many place to the left side so division mean left side it will go multiplication we have seen right side and in division the point will shift to the left side so let me show you one more example 0 0.25 percentage so what you will write down just directly you write down this one and divide by 100 so what will be your answer it will shift to the left side so if you can't shift with your mind so you write down the numbers in this way okay it will be better so where is your point here is your point okay here is your point it will shift one two place so it will come here so what will be your final answer 0 0.0025 this part always do in the rough don't show it okay this is for rough i'm showing it so that you understand so that's all in this way you have to convert a decimal to a sorry a percentage to a decimal and don't forget to use this method of shifting the point then you don't have to cancel and show each and every step and normal one normal sum this simple one you just directly write down the number divide by this one then you can show the cancellation part or if you don't want to show no need two zero is here so whenever there is no point a normal number is given without whole number is given okay that means the point is here that means the point will shift here and here so your answer will be 1.35 so that's your answer but don't show this one as i told you before also don't show this you have to do it in your mind so do it mentally i hope it is clear so thank you for today please keep watching my videos and don't forget to give a like and subscribe my channel Ta-da!